Michael Zelinski, I'm a music producer and tonemaster for Sennheiser. We started 3D recordings eight years ago, so pretty early actually, uh, with another group of, let's say, 3D enthusiasts. And at that time, uh, of course, we used this loudspeaker system like this here, which is also known as Oral 3D or 9.1 system. And by the time we noticed that 3D will be an important topic and people really love it because it's so intense and emotional. But we also knew evidently that you can sell a system like this to an, in a normal household. That's too crazy for most people. And so we, we were looking for a small solution and et voila, that's what came out, our soundbar. And we worked very hard on the soundbar to make it sound as close to, to the big system as possible, which I will prove later. Um, it is a complete standalone system. I will talk about this later. You can make photos. It is a prototype. Later it will look like this. Uh, and I will play a trailer now that also shows the design, gives an audio impression, and shows some features. is absolutely necessary. It's not just for fun, because uh, we are working with reflection. So uh, there are some psychoacoustical tricks, also reflections, and uh, the soundbar needs to know the size and the surface and the geometry of the room. So the room can be unsymmetrical. You, you could have, even in the walls by themselves, you could have curtains on one side and a window on the other side, that's all no problem. Uh, size can be like four meters high, eight meters wide, eight or ten meters in depth, and um, it's a, a fully standalone system. I will talk about this later a little bit. One thing which is of course very important is that uh, it is Dolby Atmos compatible. That is really pretty important. So let's have an example for Dolby Atmos movie Everest. <coughs>
it's also 